welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Ukataya here in fabulous Honolulu. Take a look at this video from a drone care of Excite Modula of PTC 2019. Joining me here today, my friend, Mr. Randy Brockman. He is the CEO of Edge Connects. Randy, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you for having us today. Appreciate it. Oh, we are loving having you. And in this beautiful uh, Honolulu uh, afternoon, couldn't be more excited. Now, I'm standing here, of course, with Randy Brockman, who has been on the forefront of the Edge marketplace really since it's before it was becoming a trending topic, since it's been on the, the minds of everyone here at PTC, for sure. With this perspective, can you define for us what does Edge Connects mean when they say they're on the edge? Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, and you're correct. Uh, we were uh, talking about the edge uh, certainly when it wasn't in vogue. And right. the good news now is that we've now executed on it when it is in vogue. Um, but what do we mean? I think from an Edge Connects perspective, what we mean about the what we mean with the edge is the logical last point or the breaking off point where a service is consumed and or originated. Uh, effectively, we want to empower your edge in, in a way where our customers' customers' experience is optimized. Um, the first wave we saw of that was really bringing content closer to the consumer. OTT video, a huge driver from it. You can't serve it from four or five places in the country. You really had to get it right next to the consumer. And of course, the explosion of OTT content right. uh, made that all the more important. I'd like to think we were a key part of getting rid of the spinning pinwheel, quite frankly. <laughs> uh, what's interesting is uh, no sooner had we finished that first wave when the second wave hit us. Uh, and what we saw was the cloud needing to get closer to the enterprise. Uh, latency matters uh, for enterprises just as much as it matters for consumers and, uh, and that really enabled critical workloads uh, to be able to move, uh, I think, faster uh, in, into the cloud. And you know, I see wave three coming. Uh, yeah, and that brings us really up to date today, what, what we've seen uh, as, as edge developments, but what would you see moving forward looking, uh, looking in your magic crystal ball as the next wave of edge coming down the pike? Yeah. I think, I think we have the, the advantage of having brilliant customers who are educating us on, on what, what they anticipate Wave 3 being. And we actually saw some of this over the past year, and I think we see three or four more years of, of heavy growth, uh, in particular in this third wave. And, and I'd describe the third wave in a, in a couple of flavors, maybe the big wave and a second wave behind it. Um, think of, of cloud-enabled type services as the next wave coming. And that can be things like IoT based services, another level of security based services, uh, autonomous vehicle uh, utilizing capabilities in the cloud, uh, AR and VR. Uh, I think a, a twist on it, but very highly related, gaming. Uh, not only uh, in the cloud and at the cloud, but you're actually going to need to see gaming clouds coming to the edge. Uh, and, you know, that brings with it big power densities, uh, much larger scale deployments, even at edge. And uh, when you have that kind of core technology running out there, you've effectively brought some of the core capabilities you need for AI and yeah. some other services at the edge. So we're excited. Uh, 2018 was a big growth at the edge year, and uh, 2019 is shaping up to be even better. And you are so well positioned, of course. Uh, your, your multiple facilities across the uh, North America, um, your European expansion, unbelievable. Um, so, Edge Connects, where can our viewers go who want to learn more? www.edgeconnects.com. Thank you. There you have it. Thank you, Randy, for joining us. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.